Hi, everyone. My name is Steve Prouse with ITW Vortech. My name is Zach Miner, Sales and Distribution Manager at Vortech. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to uh, cover the Vortech cooling vest. In this video, we're going to cover uh, some of the benefits of the uh, of the Vortech cooling vest. We're going to cover how it works, some of the common applications. We'll cover a case study. And we'll also uh, give you a demonstration on how to use the cooling vest. Workers in extreme temperatures wear a Vortec cooling vest to minimize heat stress and fatigue while improving comfort and productivity. Cold air circulates through the cooling vest to distribute even cooling over the upper body. The Vortec cooling vest can be worn under other protective clothing, such as PPE. It has an easy to use temperature adjustment that can be even adjusted with gloved hands. It provides continuous, constant air delivery and allows for full range of motion with no airflow restrictions. Vortec personal cooling vests have two components, a cooling tube that generates cold air to provide airflow to the worker and a perforated cooling vest through which the cold air flows to lower the worker's body temperature. Vortec cooling tubes use filtered compressed air and Vortex tube technology to generate cold air used for personal cooling applications. Inside the cooling tube, a Vortex tube spins the supplied compressed air, separating it into hot and cold air streams. The cold air is delivered to the cooling vest via a ducting tube, while the hot air exits out of the other end of the PAC through a hot muffler. Inside the vest, the cold air circulated via a perforated lining of the vest, providing a cooling effect to the wear of the vest and tube. Some of the common applications for the Vortec cooling vest consist of foundries, powder coating, welding operations, steel mills, sandblasting, asbestos abatement, power plants, mines, casting shops, smelters, boiling rooms, metal production, paint operations, forging shops, hazardous waste removal, unconditioned warehouse, shipyards, and glass plants. In Charlotte, North Carolina, summer can be brutal with temperatures regularly reaching over 90 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt the ice cream right out of the cone. It's hard to stand outside, harder to work outside, and harder still to work in a collision repair center where the curing oven bakes the cars and employees after painting. David Nutter, a painter at Cadillac of South, of South Charlotte reports that the thermostat regularly reports temperatures of 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, creating a potentially dangerous workplace for Nutter and his employees. Excessive heat can cause dehydration, heat exhaustion, and in most severe cases, heat stroke. At worst, the working environment can hospitalize employees if not monitored carefully, but heat can also cause fatigue, slow down productivity, and cloud judgment. Cadillac of South Charlotte is a standalone Cadillac dealer with a 9,300 square foot collision center. They have two paint booths, which keep Nutter and his two assistants plenty busy with prep, painting, and moving cars along to the curing of it. For the past four summers, Nutter has worn a 3M VersaFlow face shield that supplies fresh air, keeping his face and head from overheating. Bruce Donahue, the collision center manager was impressed by the effectiveness of the mask and wanted to expand the protection to cool the whole body. Donahue purchased an extra large vest and immediately implemented it into their facility's daily operations. Although Donahue and his team have not calculated the additional throughput or efficiency since adding the cooling vest, they have seen improvement making the $300 investment well worth it especially considering the fact that it isn't broken down or needed any further maintenance. The vest system is an added boost, providing necessary cooling without any additional technical problems or bulky systems. It helps immensely, exclaims Nutter. I'm significantly cooler and a lot more comfortable. I'm able to concentrate more on the task at hand, which is extremely important. When trying to stay cool in the summer heat, it may seem counter intuitive to add layers of clothing, but when that clothing is a cooling vest, the effects are immediate and substantial, as demonstrated by the team at Cadillac of South Charlotte. Next, we'll show you how to use the cooling vest.
So the Vortex Vest system basically uses uh, standard shop compressed air, typically 100 PSI. Um, so basically what you do is you're going to take your compressed air hose and it will get connected into the cooler itself. Now I don't have air supplied to it now, but um, once you connect it and supply the air, uh, that's going to start the cooling process. You do have an adjustable knob here that will change the output temperature of the air that's being sent into the vest. And really that's all there is to it. There's no moving parts, nothing to wear out. Really the only maintenance item would be uh, your compressed air filter. We always recommend that you have a minimum of five micron filtration uh, for the compressed air that, that's coming to the tube. Okay, we're going to connect the air up, turn the air on, and give you an idea on uh, how the vest uh, looks when it's inflated. That concludes our webinar over the Vortec cooling vest. Thank you for joining us. For more information, you can visit our website, email us, or give us a phone call at 1-800-441-7475.